Hello. Happy Monday. Welcome to Tamara's Paper Trail and Mystery Card Monday. I was uh I was a little engrossed in what I was doing and I looked up and it was 658. I'm like, oh <laughs> I better hit go. Give me a hidey ho, let me know who I'm playing with tonight. Let me just see comments. Okay. Why? Something's changed on here. Only comments. Hmm. Okay, no, something has changed again. I went through this last week. Hang on, restricted discussion. Only comments over 100 characters for sure. Hi, Donna. Hello, hello. Hi, Karina. No, okay, it seems to be working. All right. Yeah, I'm still, uh, I'm still prepping. <laughs> Hi, Mary. How are you feeling? I hope you're feeling better. Hi, Rachel from Rhode Island. Heidi ho. Hi, Shelly. Tracy. Kim. Excellent. This is a fun one, but uh, I, I may have decided on a bit of a pain in the sraka embellishment. So, hi, Jen. Leslie, hello. Let's just wait another minute for a few more people to pop in. I'm hoping for some new friends to pop in tonight. Well, I dig, you know, I'm try see what I'm trying to do? No, you don't. I'm trying to dig out uh, some gold foil out of these embossed leaves and yeah I've done six seven sets I have one more set to go and uh, I'm regretting my life choices at the moment <laughs> hi Amy hi Amy Debbie where are you at come on girlfriend get in here give us a hidey ho Debbie Can you believe it's March? March 1st. Did anybody else decide, hey, it's a Monday and it's a new month. Let's try this healthy living thing again. <laughs> there she is. Hello, hello. Yeah, that was me this morning. So, um, so far, not too bad. I mean, it's only been a day, but uh, I'm trying healthy living, not a diet. You know, I had a healthy protein shake for breakfast. Um, okay, I haven't done my yoga yet. I promised I was going to do my yoga, but oh well. Oh, well. <laughs> the day's not over, right? You never know what'll happen. <laughs> There's Nancy. Hi. Okay, I think we're ready to get going here. Let me just dig out this last leaf. Hi, Lucy. Where are you from, Lucy? You've been here before, haven't you? It's not your first time. There's Bev. Hello, Bev. Is Linda going to pop in tonight? That is the question. I'm not sure if Linda really exists or if she's a figment of your imagination. <laughs> Hey, Shelly. You almost didn't realize how much junk food. I know, right? Okay, so I was, oh, do you think, Debbie, I'm like sitting here going, oh my gosh, can I use this bulldog clip to clip? I don't know what's going on here today. Look at this. It's in my face. I don't know. I was using a new conditioner and it's, I don't know. It's, <laughs> uh, let's not even talk about it. Anyway, I was sitting here and there's one lonely Ghirardelli chocolate sitting here staring at me, so I might have eaten it. That's okay. It was good the rest of the day, right? <laughs> Healthy living since August. Ooh, good for you, Kim. I'm up 20, 20 pounds. Yeah, yeah, sure am. Yeah. <laughs> so I keep on trying. I mean, now um, anybody who knows me knows that I usually beat myself up well, uh, but I've been very kind to myself. It's just enough is enough, right? Um, spring is coming, and so I have a bit of a mind shift um, with respect to all that. So I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, little by little, choice by choice right yes and there's glenda hello lovely and there's paulette okay now oh, and there's coral all right the gang is all here let's get crafting you guys um first i'm going to say this layout was not mine uh, as usual my r d um hit me down the rabbit hole this morning and i came up with a layout from paper daisy crafting that i love i think it's quite versatile and it uses up what is the, okay bulldog club Bulldog clips were not made for uh, hair. Well done, Kim. Down 18 pounds. Holy cow. Yeah, Shelly. We're not going to talk about it. We're here to craft. We're not discussing the weight right, anymore. No more. No more. Um, right. So Paper Daisy Crafting came up with this layout. And it's a good one because it's going to help us use up more of our 6x6 six six patterned paper. Or in my case, 12x12. 12 12. So I'm going to show you how to cut this 6x6 six six piece. Um, because as someone spotted, well, that's a pretty darn big piece for our, our little cardstock here. So let's start with our Bernice. Hello. You 
must be gearing up for golf season. Must be getting nice there. Springtime in Pent Penticton? Kelowna. Penticton. Penticton. Yeah. Anyway, nice to see you. All right, so we're going to start with our... What? No, we're not. We're going to switch our view to our hands. Who wants to look at this bad hair thing I got going on? <laughs> now, let's flip this. All right. And it's... Oh, oh, check out the nails, ladies. Okay. All right. Before we get crafting, let's chat nails for a minute. Um, I, I have had quite a few people ask me about this whole nail business. Tea time tomorrow, you little stinker. Hi, Melissa. Um, so the nails, I'm going to do, I'm going to have a virtual nail party, I think, next week. This stuff is gel moment is the uh, stuff. And I actually have a website. Who knew? Tamara's Pretty Nails uh, is what it's called. That's all I remember. I don't even know what it's called. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to do a virtual party, so next week, watch out for it, and if anybody's interested, um, then they can buy some stuff. I don't know. So, I changed my nail color yesterday. We're going to start by folding our card base in half. And something is not right on my trimmer, because every piece of paper that I've gone to fold has not been flush, so my cutter is off. Or my, my eyes are off, or something's off. Something's off. There's Edna! Edna and Bernice, both in the same night. Hello, ladies. My sisters. Literally, they're sisters. So, uh, right, so we've got our card base folded in half, and now we're going to fold this piece back on itself. So we're making, I think this is called a Z fold. I think I would know that. You know me. <laughs> I just do stuff. I don't know what anything's called. So here we have this little Z. This is, this is our card, like this. Fun, right? Cool. All right. We are going to take our designer paper, and in my case, I have it a six by six piece. So, if it's directionally important, so uh, I guess I could use directionally important. We want it to be five and a quarter long. So, if this is the proper pattern, I'm going to turn it a quarter of a turn, and I'm going to cut it at five and a quarter. In a, a quart, I'm cutting uh, a quarter, no, I'm cutting this much, I'm cutting three quarters off the bottom of it. All right, so it's like that. Should I turn this down? Is it easier to see? If it's not so glary, is that better? We'll do that for now. Okay, so we've cut three quarters of an inch off the bottom. So what did I say? Five and a quarter. I want to make sure I get it right. Yes, five and a quarter off the bottom, like that. Okay, so now we're going to have this piece here, and we're going to cut this at, what are we going to cut it at? Five and seven eighths. So it's a, it's a six, it's oh, six inches long. We're going to scooch it over two ticks. Right, so we're just going to take a little bit off, a little hair. Okay, so it is now five and a quarter long by five and seven eighths this way, okay? And we're just going to move it over to the four and slice it off. That's it. That's all for cutting. We're done on the cutting, okay? Who did I lose? <laughs> do we need to do it again? So do it again. Start with a six by six piece of paper. If it's, di if it's directionally important, you want to cut off the bottom. So you turn it a quarter of a turn and you cut it at five and a quarter. Turn it back and cut off two ticks, which is just a smidge, just a smidge, two ticks, and then you cut it at four. Okay, everybody's still with me? Give me a yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I actually have six more to do, so I'm going to do it again and again and again for you. I'm going to cut off a quarter of an inch, so I'm cutting it at five and a quarter. Turn it, take off two ticks, cut it at four. Got it? Let's do it again. <laughs> Five and a quarter, take off two ticks, cut it at four. Hello, Denise from Winnipeg. All right, Denise. You missed, did you miss my cutting instructions? Six by six. Cut at five and a quarter. So you're cutting off three quarters off the bottom of it. Turn it. Cut off two ticks. 
Cut it at four. I'm going to just keep doing it until you guys say, okay, I get it. <laughs> All right, Jennifer, Jen's got it. All right, so five and a quarter. Turn it. Take off two ticks. Cut it at four. I have two more to go. <laughs> five and a quarter. Cut off two ticks. Literally, you guys are going to make me watch. Uh, you're going to watch me make eight of these. Exact same card. Oops. Put it there. Take off two ticks and cut it at four. So I've cut for eight. All right. Denise is in. Okay, I'm done. Now. Now we assemble. So, this is the wrong color. <laughs> That was my demonstration purposes. I'm using gray, <laughs> basic gray. So I'm going to fold this one in half. And I'm going to fold it back on itself in half to make a Z fold card. There's a Z fold base. All right. Everybody's got it. Good, good, good. Karina's in. Everybody's got it. So we've got our Z. Now we just start taping. Do whatever you like, pattern-wise. Um, I might mix some of them up, but I'm going to do the first one with the same pattern on the front as in the inside. So I'm going to adhere that down with my adhesive of choice. This is our, I want to say, Peony Garden paper from the main catalog. I still have scads of this stuff, you guys, and I'm trying to get through it. I just, it's hard. I have so much paper. Yeah, the Peony Garden is what I'm working with here. I'll do a little uh, a little public service announcement while I tape this piece. Um, the retiring list is coming out very soon, and we know that the in colors are going to retire. That's your Seaside Spray. That is your uh, Purple Posy, your Peacock, your... Rococo Rose, is that terracotta? No, what's that? Uh, seaside Spray, is that uh, terracotta tile? No, what is that other one? I don't have to look. But they're all retiring and they are on low inventory already. So I am telling you, this stuff is going to sell out. Get it now, please. I, I hate when people don't get what they want to get. Okay, yeah, terracotta tile, Rococo Rose, Pretty Peacock, Seaside Spray, Purple Posy. All of the inks are on low inventory. Once they're gone, once that list comes out, you're doomed. You're doomed. Okay? I'm just saying. Get it while you know. I know, right, Denise? All right, so I told you to have two pieces that were three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and then also two layers that were three by three. So this is what's going to happen here. I'm going to take my colored layer, which in this case is, again, the basic gray, and I'm going to tape that in the middle of the inside flap like that and I'm going to tape one of my layers in there so that's where the that's where I'm gonna write my sentiment and or stamp a little flower or something there now when it comes to this other piece I'm gonna put tape just on one side of it okay just one side I'm going to close my, my Z flap and I'm going to layer it on top of this one for positioning's sake because we don't want to see that. We want it to be hidden. Press. Okay. How easy is this? I think this is center. Or is this focused? Let's just make sure that this is focused. Give us, all right. Then we're taking our other layer and it's going to go here. So. I am now going to start decorating mine. This lighting is way off, but that's okay. I should zoom in on this a bit. Nah, never mind. All right, so I'm going to decorate mine while y'all do the same on yours. Um, I am going to show you, look at this, we're only 14 minutes in, and I've been rambling for a lot of it. So let me show you the final card. This is how I've designed mine. This is the case. I'll zoom in on that. This is from Paper Daisy Crafting almost 100%. I just positioned my gold leaves elsewhere and she had stamped thinking of you in gold embossing, gold embossing powder. 
I didn't. I actually wanted a With Sympathy. Sadly, I am going through sympathy cards like Tic Tacs lately. Uh, it's, it's really sad. I've had so many friends losing their parents. And shout out to Virginia. Uh, most of you who are, who are regulars on my Mystery Card Monday, you know Virginia. Her mom passed away um, last week. And so she's not here tonight. She just, um, yeah, it was a tough day. So, you know, I'm going through so many sympathy cards. So we're with you, Virginia, and um, we love you and virtual hugs. We wish we could help you. Hi, Hope. Uh, wish we could help you through this. But um, a card we'll have to do for now. So I'm making all of mine sympathy. And I'm using a retired set, the rose. Something about a rose. What is it? It is this one, Rose Wonder. That again. It's blurry. I know Don will yell at me if it's blurry. So I'm using the old Rose Wonder because I actually want the With Sympathy sentiment. And I have scoured every one of my current sets and I can't find a With Sympathy that works. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to put together all my pieces. <laughs> These are from the Magnolia. Uh, Good morning, Magnolia dies, which I haven't used in probably a year and a half. So I have to layer these all together. And then I've cut out the leaves out of gold foil and they come together like this. So shout out to Paper Daisy Crafting. Beautiful card and I wanted to copy it. So the other one that I did first thing this morning that I came up with was this layout. And this is using the new Butterfly Boutique Bundle that goes for sale tomorrow to customers. Demonstrators can get it now. And I very crookedly stamped Sending Prayers. That one is from our, uh, I believe it's Itty Bitty Greetings. Yes, Itty Bitty Greetings. I stamped that and, uh, yeah, I used black. I don't even know if that's focus. Let's try that. Like that. Uh, and I used some of our black enamel, whatever those are called, dots. And the butterfly. So this goes on sale tomorrow, and that's how that one opens up. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the night, 717. Um, I hope you guys cut for more than one. I'll put one or two together. Maybe I'll try a layout with, um, with some different paper. But I think it's a very versatile layout, I hope. Uh, but I just need to stock up on those sympathy cards, man. I don't know what it is my glue dots, though. Uh, I don't know. They were here. No, no. So I don't know what you guys got up to this weekend. We, we had a uh, great weekend here. I, um, I'm getting the hang of this relaxing, almost too much so though, because um, I'm all or nothing me. Either I'm working 24 hours a day or I'm relaxing 24 hours a day. So, hi Nikki. Thanks Denise. Like I said, I can't take credit for that. Paper Daisy Crafting is the one who came up with this uh, layout and this exact card. But um, anyway, the girls had Thursday and Friday off for teacher convention and Craig, Craig had Friday off. So, guess who else had a Friday off? That would be me. We went to um, an escape room. We went to, I think it's, what's it called? Escape, not Escape City. Emporia, Escape Emporium or something. It is like south of Ikea. It was way the hell and gone. Like, really, it took us forever to get there. Uh, but it's the first time we've actually escaped. Yes, Jennifer, I did miss you. Oh, <laughs> Gerald says hello. Uh, yeah, so we went to an escape room and then we wanted to go to Moxie's for dinner and so we came all the way back to the north side and there's a Moxie's on 137th and St. Albert Trail, uh, but it never occurred to me to see if they were open, but lo and behold, they were not. They, they haven't been open for seating to the public, I guess. I just assumed that the restaurants were um, just at 15% capacity, but they weren't. And so we thought, okay, well, we'll just pick up Chinese or something and go home. But the girls were gutted. They were like, we want to go out to a restaurant. Like, we're, we, you know, <laughs> we've had Chinese. We want something different. And they really had their hearts set on going to Moxie's. Uh, but we didn't want to drive all the way downtown to, um, to the one in Kingsway or to West End. So we said, you know what, there's got to be a restaurant <laughs> in the north side, for God's sake. So, yeah, we ended up going to uh, Original Joe's. And it was lovely. Um, I had a friend today say she thought that that was only an adult only restaurant. I've not heard such a thing. I'm like, well, apparently my girls look like they're 18 because they, they were in, they got, didn't ID them or anything, but I imagine that they wouldn't turn them away anyway, because they need the business, honestly. 
we had a lovely, a lovely time um, on Friday and then a lot of gaming and relaxing on the weekend. Like it's just, like I say, I'm kind of all or nothing and it wasn't the best time to take a lot of time off with the celebrations promotion ending. But I did. And you know what? The world didn't stop. <laughs> Go figure. Um, so yeah, it was, it was good. And today, even today, I'm fairly relaxed. I got um, some stuff in the mail that needed to be mailed for make and takes. And I'm hoping they get to Nova Scotia by the 27th of March. I'm like, okay, it's March 1st. Hopefully it'll get there in time. Uh, yeah, I'm working on a few things. I've got training on Wednesday that I should probably work on. I've got tomorrow with my Check It Out Tuesday I need to figure out. Um, yeah, I want to do another card class. I want to do a, another card class. I haven't done one in a while. I have one at the end of the month coming up. But kids can go to OJ's? Well, that's what I thought, Gail. I thought it was weird that, yeah, it really was. It was really relaxing, which is, um, I'm getting used to it. It's not something that I do. Yeah. Hey, Helga. She's not sleeping, eh? <laughs> so, yeah, it was nice. Uh, I still have no feeling in my toes. <laughs> Which is really annoying. <coughs> I'm kind of done. I went to, <coughs> excuse me, I went to the chiropractor three times. And I'm like, okay, dude, like, what the heck? Shouldn't I, I need to be better by now. Like, I don't have this kind of patience. Come on. And um, he's, like, he's, my, my back, um, or my hips are always out of, off kilter. So they're usually tilted. But he says, not only was I tilted, but I was also rotated. So I was all kinds of messed up because I haven't been to a chiropractor in a few years because I ain't got time for that. Anyway, he fixed me up like in three, in three sessions so that my hips are straight again. But I still have no feeling in the toes. And he said, well, it's, yeah, it can take months, which I just do not understand. I don't get it. He says, well, it's kind of like, it's kind of like being bruised. Like, you know, the damage is over you know, like the bruise, like you've stopped bleeding, but you still have that bruise and it takes a while to heal. He says, it's the same. It's the same with this whole sciatic nonsense. It, uh, it did what it did. It pushed on the nerve and it can take a while for that nerve to kind of bounce back. So, you know, I know it's just, it's bizarre. And so that's also has me thinking, okay, well, I need to do more stretches and a little bit of yoga and that kind of nonsense. Um, because it's what it did with him fixing my hips is it's really aggravated my left hip which was the one that was affected when i got into that little fender bender like a year and a half ago gosh almost two years ago i guess no yes a while ago it was just a minor fender bender but all of the energy i was shoulder checking left and so when i was hit from behind all of the energy went into my um into my left hip and i never had it fully it wasn't 100% back to normal because I'd been going for like months. And I'm like, again, who's got time for this? I ran out of benefits. And I'm like, oh, fine. It'll be fine. I'll just do it myself with my TENS machine. Anyway, I can tell that that's messing me up because whatever the chiropractor did, I actually, I waddle up the stairs now. Like I have to push myself against the wall. <laughs> it's not normal. <laughs> like the way I walk now. I'm like, no. At 53 years old, I shouldn't be walking like this so I just need to smarten up I need to start taking care of myself and uh yeah I don't know anywho that was my weekend now the jeep is in alignment I know I know we hope right do you bath yay it is easy and I do love that yes it uses a six by six for each for each uh card right and it's yes you do Shelly I know you're seeing me all week long and vice versa um a lot of times people will, like, if you have a, if you have a one sheet wonder, 12 by 12 sheet, you're like all excited if you can make, you know, 20 cards out of one sheet of 12 by 12. I want to make one card with a 12 by 12. I have so much paper. Make it one per. So I love that this uses up like a six by six sheet. It's pretty, like, why am I hoarding it and trying to get more use out of this stuff? There's, I mean, it's just, it's crazy how much I have. It's crazy. Madness, I tell you. All right, um, what am I doing? I'm going to use tape on this. I was using uh, glue dots, but they're small. We got these new glue dots, right? Uh, I don't know. I'm struggling with them. I, uh, they're smaller than the old ones. I swear to God, they're smaller. And uh, mine don't seem as sticky as they were, so I don't know. So I'm going to use some of this Terran, or my Stamp and Seal Plus. Oh, the sweet sorbet. Yes, yes, yes. 
Debbie, how are you feeling these days? Are you back to fighting fit now and your teeth are all good to go? I've been thinking about you a lot, Debbie, because my dad is going through something similar. He had the rest of his teeth pulled um, a few weeks back. And so the healing and the adjusting and the agony and trying to get the teeth not to fall out when you're eating the dinner. And yeah, it's been a bit of a journey. That's for sure. So I've been thinking about you a lot lately. Mm -hmm. Car accident 35 years ago. Oh my. Oh. Well, that's good, Bev. Except for the pain part. That's uh, that's the downside. And from that from that car accident, I did take. In the end, I took cash. You know, the cash settlement, and I thought, yeah, this I, I probably will regret doing that. Um, but it is what it is just at that age where I have to actually start, you know, taking care of my body. It's starting to fall apart and I'm too young for that. Okay. 15. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Use it or sell it. But I mean, I love it. And the stuff that I stocked up on, we're talking about paper. Um, you know, I if I've stocked up on it or if I'm keeping it, it's because I particularly love that pattern and I do have a plan for it, you know, one day, right? Not sure what that day is, but um, there are situations where I do uh, dig out the old paper and use it. But that's usually just for one card. So mass producing cards what do you guys uh how, how do you feel about mass producing some people hate it they like just to do a one-off and for all of their cards to be unique but i like it i mean i sat here for an hour and i prepped all these like i cut out all the pieces and now i'm just assembling so i can talk to you and it's mindless i could watch a movie or anything like that i like mass producing mind you i send out 30 to 40 cards a month <laughs> So you kind of have to. I uh, just finished another round of your auntie. Okay. In fact, still the infection. No. Really? Still can't wear your bottom plate. Other than that. Oh, good. Yeah, I hope so. It's um. It's been it's been about a month, I guess. And he's had to go back numerous times. But they say, well, you'll have to because as it heals, I guess your gums or something shrinks. So you have to keep going back and kind of getting it adjusted, but I don't know. I wish it would just all be better. I popped over the other day and it was so cute because he didn't have his teeth in. <laughs> and uh, and he, I said, Dad, I said, you look like one of those apple head dolls. <laughs> now, this is dating myself. For anybody who knows what an apple head doll is. Did you ever make apple head dolls when you were younger? I did. You get an apple and you carve a face in it and then you left it on the windowsill to, sh to dry out and shrivel up and it made the funniest little faces. <laughs> oh, thank you. Love my nails. Use hot glue and wood too much. Oh. I don't know though, Carol. This, this is the new gel stuff and it's pretty indestructible. So I took mine off um, yesterday because I wanted them to breathe because I'm a little afraid of wrecking them. Although my friends say, no, it doesn't wreck your nails. Um, but it's, so it's the gel and, uh, it lasted a solid week. Like they were perfect a week later. Like I did them, I do them every Sunday when I'm on a roll, I'll do them on a Sunday and they were just like, I had just done them. They're absolutely perfect. So they're fairly indestructible and I type a lot. Um, usually they're worn off like, because I type with my, with my nails are so long, but I type with them. So I don't know. Were you here when I said I'm doing, I'm going to do a, um, I know shrivel heads are weird. They're sort of creepy, but they smell good. Um, back to nails. I am going to do, I'm going to have a, a virtual nail party next week, probably Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday of next week, I think. Cause I've just had so many people messaging me about it and like tech, like, I guess I am a distributor. So anyway, I'll throw out a party. The, the girl I registered under, um, Raylene, she's another Stampin' Gal, Stampin' Sister. Uh, she got me hooked up. So she's going to do, I guess, the, the party for me. I don't know. I, I'm not a fan of these virtual parties. 
where, you know, every hour they're sending, I don't know, every hour something happens. They, uh, they post a lot and that just irritates me. I'd rather just get on for a live, show me what the nail, show me how to do it. Show me where to buy, what it costs. Hook me up and I'll be on my way. <laughs> Yeah, and that's, see, now this one, I tried to cap it, and I don't know, this, this color, it just, it, this color was different. I don't know, it didn't want to go, it didn't want to cap for me, but anyway. What kind of cards do you make for a jewelry store? Oh, who, 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 who are you talking to? Oh, to Denise. What kind of cards do you make? Yes. Tell us more. Where, why don't I have all my pieces here? One, two, three, oh, here we go. Anyway, I um, I asked earlier, um, Mary, but then I didn't read the answer. Are you feeling better? You weren't feeling very well yesterday. How are your natural nails when you remove the gels? Now, Bev, um, this was my fear. I've, I wore the gel nails. Uh, this is the third time, and they were fine, but I'm paranoid about it because the last time I wore nail polish for like two months straight, it destroyed my nails for six months, and I've, I have gorgeous nails. Like, they're... They're my own. They're natural, and I love them. Um, but uh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of wrecking them. I've, but they do sell these, um, they're oils. It's like a nail oil. And everybody swears by them. And, and so my girlfriend, she she said that she used, uh, she's had her nails on for months, and months and months and months. And they are fine underneath. She says she takes the nail polish off and puts on another one right away, and it's fine because she keeps them moist with these oils. I'm not gonna do it every day. I think what I'll do is start taking, um, I might take the nail polish off maybe like on a Friday or Saturday and let it, let them breathe for a day. Just because I'm paranoid, it just, <laughs> I don't know. Until I, until I really believe that they're gonna be okay. Um, that's what I'll do, but they do have a lot of products. They have a repair product that actually will, if you have a chip or a broken nail, it will repair it and it's almost like new so oh your stomach issues eh mary Ugh. Hey. Ugh. um yeah so there, there's a lot of product out there and that's what i'm trying to learn i'm certainly not a guru like i'm not trying to say that i know everything about this product line or anything but i have been reading up on some of the threads and some of the facebook pages and they say yes put the Put the oil on first and often and there's an oil that a lot of the people use in their nail beds every night to keep things nice and so so far so good uh what I, the only thing i don't like about gel nails is if they look thick and clunky uh, i don't like that look at all but i think because i have such long nails and long finger nails um i can pull it off but it's not my favorite look so i'm trying to keep the layers really really thin some people do three or four three or four coats, which I don't understand why you would do that. I don't like that look at all, but um, yeah, so far so good. And that's the one thing actually, I, I have some gel polish from another company called Jamberry. They were the company that had the nail wraps. I don't know if you recall that a while ago. And it was, um, the difference is with this stuff, you don't need a base coat and a top coat. It's just the color. And then you put it under the LED lamps and it's you're ready to go. So yeah, Nikki uses it too. Or for a month the first time, your nails can breathe. Yeah, they do. Repairs broken nails, you bet. Yeah, I know I do too. Yeah. No, there's a, there's a product that they sell, and it's called Repair. It actually was out of stock, and I just got the notification today that it's back in stock. <laughs> so I need to order some of this stuff quickly. Uh, because I'm the same, and it always cracks, like, right down there, right? <laughs> when, it, when it's going to, that's how it's going to go. Right, so... Anyway, I'll do a party. Like say next week, I'll uh, I'll send out link a link and any, I'll I'll set up a Facebook page. And if anybody wants to join, then I'll uh, I'll add you to the to the group. I just got this was a little starter kit. I got it was on it was on special when I got it, but it's like eighty nine dollars, and you get everything you need to kind of try it out. So you get these little itty bitty mini polishes. And the oils, and you got a bunch of tea and some soap. I don't know even what I got. All all kinds of stuff, right? But you got I got six little polishes, and the oil, and the moisturizer, and some perfume. Yeah, like it was. Uh, I got a deal. I think I ended up paying, I don't know, fifty-five or sixty dollars, but it's regular eighty-nine dollars 
I think it's a $250 value or something like that. But anyway, I haven't looked into a whole lot of it because I have a limited brain space these days. <laughs> Don't react well with gel usually. Yeah. Yeah, Shelly, the, the the only thing that I don't love about the gels so far is the taking them off. Now, I've only taken them off twice. The first time was a piece of cake. The second time, not so much. Like, it just was a pain. Uh, but they also have another product where it's like a nail polish. You paint it on, and it just kind of eats away the stuff. It takes like three to five minutes. You just paint it on, and it bubbles it off. But I think that's a little bit more damaging to your nails. The other ones, the other, like, it's like a little wrap and you put your finger in the little thing and it sits there for 10 minutes. It's not, a, it takes longer. It's a bit of a pain in the slaka, but it's kinder to your nails is what I understand. So, but, you know, if you only have to take it off every two weeks, I mean, that's okay, right? Yeah. It is like a whole pamper kit. Totally is. You had tea. There was, yeah, perfume. What else did I get in there? Other things that... That kind of irritates me. Either you do nails or you do tea. Why would you do tea when you do nail polish? That's like stamping up selling purses. Like what? That doesn't even make sense to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I know. They're like talons, right? Yes, mine, Bev. Mine curl up. This one I know is dry because this one, I don't know if, uh, I tried to, I tried to file it down, but it curls up on my thumbs. And I think that's a sign that they're, they're thirsty. But yeah, generally speaking, I have very thick hair and strong, long nails. So, last on that, 736. I'm hoping you guys are doing more than just one card because otherwise you're just watching me <laughs> assemble my cards, mass producing my card and listening to me ramble about nails, which is okay too, but I hope you're making lots of cards like me. I'm going to be thrilled that I'm going to have eight sympathy cards and that I'm going to have used up two whole sheets of <laughs> 12 by 12 paper. I think I'm more excited about that. I do struggle though. Like after I turn off this camera, then I go upstairs and hang out with family, right? And so then I haven't actually finished the card. You know, I need to put my sticker on the back. I need to stamp the envelope and all that. So I don't actually finish the cards. Oh, <gasps> Nikki, no, no, that will destroy your nails. You can't just pee. Oh my God, I'm cringing. No, no. No, stop it. I don't want to hear any kind of talk like that. Oh, that will destroy your nails. Absolutely will destroy your nails. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Working on my card order. Oh, 30 grad cards. <gasps> I guess I should do some soon. My daughter's graduating. I need to work on my swaps. I know what I want to do, but they have to be in the mail Wednesday. But that's a tomorrow thing. I'll do it tomorrow. Right? Line curl under on the sides. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, they're dry then, Bev. They need to breathe. Get some of this oil. Like honestly, this stuff. I didn't. I didn't know what it was, and I so I slathered it on my nail, and I thought, oh, okay, it looks like a nail polish. And I looked about ten minutes later, and it was gone. It just soaked right into my nail. And I think that can be bad too, because now this nail polish or this gel might not actually stay on because my nails might be too oily. <laughs> it might not adhere. So you're supposed to buff. The, like this, this whole thing. Who knew? God, it's high maintenance. I don't know. But um, if, you're, if, you're nail, if your nails are dry, then you should use the oil. And if they're too oily, then you need to buff them. But, yeah, if they curl, they need some moisture, girl. Need some oils. Oh. <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> the things we get excited about, right? Woohoo! I got a new mop. Yay! I got new D12 medicine. <laughs> I wonder if I should turn some of these over. Will this look nice? Let me see. This would look nice too, I think. Maybe we'll do some like this. Yeah. Or. Yes. Ooh, I can do some of each. Oh, the options are endless. Well, they're not endless, but there are many. Many options. Ah. Nice, Beth. Very nice. Oh, pink. 
time is it? 7.39. So, I was all excited tonight. I was supposed to get my HelloFresh order. Okay. It didn't come. And then, so, when I checked out my emails for my Gmail account, I know why I didn't get my HelloFresh order. They canceled it on me. <laughs> so, I was trying to play the system because all my friends said you can totally play the system. If you have a new HelloFresh account, you can get a free week's worth of meals. So I did that. When my girlfriend sent me this coupon, I got $120 worth of food for free. I was very excited about free. Free is my favorite. And everybody said, well, yeah, you just use a different email account and you can get another free box. I'm like, well, that's, um, really? And they're like, yeah, uh, my friends have done it several times where they'll just send it to a different, you know, everybody's got three or four email addresses. So I'm like, okay, sweet. So I did that. And yeah, it says, okay, I picked my meals. It was all excited for me. Well, I guess they've obviously changed their system to recognize the address. And yeah, it canceled my order and said, yeah, no, you've already ordered through us. So no, you can't have another one. So I had no dinner plans because I was planning to, uh, um, have Hello Fresh for dinner and it didn't show up so aha it was toast and beans mm -hmm. alright now I stamped all of these and that was not a good idea I didn't even stamp them all anyway worked on my swaps today nice excellent they work better if you use the clips they have to I know the clips um that's what I wanted to do Nikki and of course they're out of stock so I want to order those when they come in stock so if i set up this party then i have like 10 days for the party to close and i'll just hope that it comes in i like it too the shipping is only five dollars per order so i like that it's that's a reasonable amount for shipping i think but yeah one two okay so i'll do that right. just figure out what i'm doing here. Right. I see Tracy. Yeah, Tracy's in here. Mm -hmm. I'm not watching my comments as much. So I'm actually working. I had toast. There's Tracy. I had toast and beef. And so we had toast. Well, we had uh, hash brown patties and beans and wieners. Aw. What day? Actually, I was going to message you today, Tracy. I'm like, you've been quiet. What's going on? Anybody sleeping this week? I don't know. There was a full moon the other day, and we have not slept in in forever. Like, literally. I go to bed, and I was just laying there until, like, 2-something. It's not okay. It's not happy. Okay. Look at all these sick clothes, man. Okay. Now. Uh, la, 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 la. Actually have a removal product. I know those pouches, they're fantastic, Beth. Yeah, but that's where it's a bit of a pain in the slaka. You know, you're sitting there with the <laughs> I, I watched a few shows with Alicia while they were I had these bags on my fingers, but yeah, I want to use the clips. Um, I just can't get them. So, sounds like Bev wants to be a nail, a gel nail convert, but check out the repair, the repair stuff. Um, Bev. It really kind of seals any cracks and or splits. And then the gel, uh, you know, that's an extra look. Like damn, they're, they're tough. They're strong. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm going to. A bit of a fancy fold. Mm -hmm. Ah, I've been thinking about trying that, Shelly. Yeah, you bet. Mm -hmm. Well, that's me too, Tracy. I fall asleep the second my head hits the pillow. But then lately, I've been waking up like 
15 minutes later and then I am just screwed. Just I it just takes the edge off and then I'm hooped. I have no trouble falling asleep though, never have. Uh, like Craig literally will be watching a show and we're having a conversation and I doze off in the middle of it or you know, three minutes to the end of the show and I miss the ending of it every time. And Alicia laughs at me whenever we're watching RuPaul. Um, stamp set that you used for the sympathy. That was from the Rose. Uh, that was from Rose Wonder. It's retired, Paulette. Yeah. Cool. Excellent, Bev. Um, yeah, we watch RuPaul, and right before, you know, the main stage happens, every time I'll say I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> She's like, no sleepy. Like, you always miss it. I always miss it. I try hard, but anyway. That's better. Noise is almost gone. Noise? What was the name of the... Uh, noise. What did I miss? There was a noise. Multivitamin. Okay. Yes. And I was... I was uh, for a while there, um, Denise, I was taking magnesium oil. Not taking it. I was spraying it so that it absorbs into my skin. And that's supposed to be good for sleep, too. Women especially, I guess, are pretty low on magnesium. And it's supposed to help sleep. Maybe I'll do a little bit more of that tonight. I don't know what you're talking about, Nikki. What noise? Did I, I miss something there, honey? Okay. Where are the rest of mine? I know I cut enough. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think I might have... <laughs> I cleaned up, and I think I cleaned up some of my pieces. Oh, there we go. Yes, I did. One, two, three. I'm short on my gray pieces. There's one. That'll teach me for cleaning up. How many do I need? One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. One, two. Three. Okay, I think that's all I need. All right, thanks, Melissa. Have a good night. Have a good week. Sleeping pills. Uh. Huh. Okay, Nikki. Don't know. It was probably just me making noise. All right. It's right in the middle. I was at 7.47. Can't wait to see what you guys are coming up with. Is it a good layout? Did it work with the uh, designer papers you picked? Nancy, what say you? What paper are you using, girl? I do hear my fan is running pretty hard hard on my uh, computer here. Nikki, and I don't really understand why. I'll stop trying to understand why on most things to do with technology. <laughs> do you know, hi, Barb. So I've used one piece of 6x6. Six six. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, Barb, listen up, girlfriend. We take a 6x6 six six piece of paper and you're going to cut three quarters of an inch off the bottom so it's five and a quarter inches long. And then you're going to take, you're going to turn, oh, I'm going to show you, Barb. This was six by six. And it was directional. So this was six inches. I cut off three quarters of an inch, making this five and a quarter long, okay? Because this is the direction, five and a quarter long. And then I'm taking just two ticks off the right-hand side which makes this five and seven eighths, okay? And then you just cut it at four. So you have these two pieces. This goes on the inside of your paper. So this is just a regular card base, make it a Z fold, so fold it in half, fold it back on itself. Then you're gonna take this piece in here, this piece on here. And then you have two pieces of 
in my case, um, I've used gray, three and a quarter by three and a quarter, two of these, and then two pieces that are three by three. And so you can see I am mass producing like a little fiend and making eight sympathy cards out of my two 12 by 12 pieces of paper because I unfortunately need a lot of sympathy cards lately, like a lot, like I have none left and that's not okay. So I hope I never have to send these out. I have a lot of thinking of you cards, but sometimes you want a with sympathy. It depends on the person and the situation, right? Um, I don't know. Oh, I'm glad, Edna. I'm glad, I'm glad. It, I think it's fairly versatile, like I say. this. Uh, so, Barb, here's the one I made that's completed. And this is a case, just I don't want to take credit for this. This is from Paper Daisy Crafting. Total case, 100% her. And this one I tweaked. I just used different paper. This is the new Butterfly uh, Boutique. And this is from the Sending Prayers is from the Itty Bitty Greetings. This with Sympathy is from the Rose Wonder. But there's also a thinking of you in the Magnolia. Uh, the uh, Good Morning Magnolia does have a nice thinking of you, which fits nicely in this corner too. But I've got thinking of you and I don't want to think of you. So... I am now assembling various pieces. So when I go to construct this, I'm putting, I'm using my tear and tape. This lighting bites, man. Here, let's go like this there. Turn that one off a little bit. So I'm gonna use my tear and tape and I'm securing one leaf like that. Then I am taking another leaf there and another leaf there I'm going to secure that with tear and tape like I don't mess around I'm not I'm not doing the self-adhesive you know none of that business I'm taking this <laughs> slapping on a bunch of strong adhesive And I'm getting her done. So that's going to go there. Then I take this little center that looks like the Corona. <laughs> corona thing. Uh, lost my heat. That's getting out of there. I'm still not used to them being on the inside. Ta-da! There we go. Can't wait to try this. Just finished 50 ish. Oh my goodness. I don't do St. Patrick's Day cards, Hope. Then onto your design. Yes. Were you, did you pop in last week? Um, Hope for the, uh, uh, for the card I did, which I cannot find, the, sli uh, the slide and whatever I called it, the lock and slide card. Did you, were you here last week? Let's get some light on the subject. These ones and then this. Oh my goodness. Sorry about the lighting. The glare. Okay. No, no, no. Stop being so bright. Did you see this one last week, Hope? Can't remember if you were there. That's a good one. So here's another thing, you guys. If um, if you didn't see my note about it, I've started posting these replays on my YouTube channel. You have a YouTube channel, Tamara? I hear you cry. Yes, yes, I do. It is called Tamara's Paper Trail. <laughs> so get into Uncle Google and type YouTube. And when you're in YouTube, in the search bar, type in Tamara's Paper Trail. And um, I have a section for Mystery Card Mondays now and a section for Check It Out Tuesdays. So the recordings will still be here in my Facebook page. But uh, they're also going to be on the YouTube channel. So you don't have to scroll. Like, it's just, I find it's going to be easier for you to find the replays. And if you don't already subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do. Thank you. This has been a public service announcement for Tamara's Paper Trail. All right. Struggles with tear and tape. Really? It won't tear well for you. Are you tear challenged, Nikki? 
I love it. What do you mean it won't tear for you? You just put your fingernail against the edge of it. Where, 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 what? Here, let's do another one here. What do you mean? I don't even understand. Lift it up. Put your fingernail there and just rip. Cool, thanks, Hope. I only just started, if I, you know, I said if I was ever laid up for, you know, three months straight, I wouldn't run out of things to do because I could just upload all my Mystery Card Mondays and check it out Tuesdays for the last year because we've been doing this a year, you guys, a year. And that would just take me forever to do. Probably why I haven't done it. So I thought instead of trying to go back and fix the past, moving forward, I will just post the new ones and when I'm trying to procrastinate on something else I'll post old ones <laughs> 7.55 hey but I'm seriously almost done these you guys I'm just going to keep on going because you know I have one more set of these um, darn foil things to do but I'm here for a while anyway, so I might as well be talking to friends, right? Okay. Not working. Well, that's really weird. Maybe call Demonstrative Support and get a new one sent to you. I would I don't I don't think I could craft without my tearing tape. I use it all the time. All the time. No, no more. Thank you, Barb. No more being laid up. Good Lord. No. Even, I mean, I say I took three days off. Like when I was laid up last week, I still may have done quite a bit of work. <laughs> like sitting at the computer, I could honestly spend, and I do, I'll spend three hours. Like I get in and, oh, I'll balance the checkbook and, oh, I need to e-transfer. So and, like, and a lot of it is work too. I'll, you know, I'll check my reports. I'll message my downline. I'll... You know, I just, I, there's always something I can do. I'm in the, the planning stages of my team, my team gig for April. I've already got some fun ideas. And, like, there's always something to do. I don't know. But no, I'd rather not be laid up. <laughs> Three more to go only. But I'm going to run out of these little guys in a minute here. So I think I can only make two more. And then I'll let you guys go. 7.57. I will... Uh, you guys know the drill. I will um, take pictures of my two cards and I will post them. And then you take pictures of your cards and you post them in the comments below. And sometime, maybe before Easter, I'll do a draw for some product. And... If you are sending out cards this week, uh, those of you who know of Virginia and have her address, maybe pop her a thinking of you card if you would. I know it would mean the world to her. Uh, losing your mother. You know, I don't care how old you are. Uh, that's your mommy. That's tough. It's a tough day. And I guess, like, I'm, I'm at the age now where so many of my friends, like, you know, our, our parents are leaving us. It's a tough time. Yeah, I know. See, I'm an enabler, Nikki, right? Everybody buys the stuff that they see other people using. So, yeah, I would call demonstrator support and get a new one see if it's any better. Alright, I am missing a gold leaf. That's not okay. Hmm. Good night, Denise. We'll talk to you maybe tomorrow for Check It Out Tuesday, but Wednesday for sure. See you later. Thanks for popping in. computer that is making so much noise. I don't know why it's running so high tonight. But anyway. Let's 
Let's use this one. There's nothing wrong with this one. Okay. Uh, turn tape. Here you are. And I have one more batch to run through before I go to bed. I find with the long nails, I sure do need to use this pick your take your pick tool more often. All right, thanks, Hope. Excellent. Subscribe while you're there, darling. See you soon. Okay, one more of these. Okay. All right, so I just have this one left. Oh, there's that little stinker. I thought it was under my computer. Okay, I'm going to do one more. No, I'm not. I don't have another center to do. I'll finish that one in a minute. You know what? I could do a couple of little ones. It doesn't have, they don't have to be all the same, Tamara. I get so stuck in these ruts. <laughs> it's got to be the same as the last nine I just made. Okay. Donna, were you playing tonight or were you just watching? All right, it is 8.01 and look at that. Aside from putting the center on this, which I'm going to run through one more right now, and then I'm going to call it done. That was epic. Epic marathon. And I now have eight beautiful sympathy cards ready to go. Just have to do the envelopes. Stamp the inside. Ah, don't rip it. Okay, one more. Plain! Excellent! Nice! nice to get the swap cards there we go all right i am done one two three four five six seven eight sympathy cards and a butterfly <laughs> so i'll take pictures of these two right away actually i'll do a couple of variations as well and you guys take pictures and post them in the comments below i'll do a draw for some some sort of product in the near future um now tomorrow I have a fun idea in mind. Uh, excellent. Well done, Leslie. I have an idea for something that my friend Andra did, and it was called a magic changing picture card. And it's not the one that is color, like when it's clear and then you pull it and it turns color. This is, it's so trippy. I don't know if my brain can handle it. I might try to figure one out for tomorrow's Check It Out Tuesday. Uh, but if not, I'm sure I'll come up with something equally fun. So pop in tomorrow at 7, and we'll do it all over again. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night.